<coughs> hey there everyone, uh, Sunil here with a quick installation guide on how to install Apex Office Print on your application and start or export a simple report. So in this uh, video we're going to download Apex Office Print, install it, configure the access control list, configure the Oracle wallet so that we can communicate securely between uh, the database and our API. And then we're going to export this simple report into a Word document. So that is the goal for this video. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I want to show is uh, the version of our database. Okay, so let's see here. The version that we're currently running is 23C3. Um, and the Apex version that we're currently running is Apex 23.1. Now, that's out of the way. Let's go ahead and see how we can download Apex Office Print. So the first thing is to go to apexofficeprint.com, log in. If you do not have an account, you can go ahead and create an account. So I'm just going to log in with my credentials here. On the left-hand side, we should see Downloads button. When we go there, for this tutorial, I'm going to use our AOP Cloud and I'm going to download the AOP Cloud Packets. So when you download this, you're going to get a zip file. This zip file, when extracted, will contain different folders. These folders contain files that are necessary for different Apex versions. We support Apex versions from 18 till the latest one. In this video, I'm using Apex 23.1, so I'm going to go ahead with this folder. Now, before we install um, our packages or plugin into our application, we need to make sure that we are able to connect to our API cloud from our Oracle database. So, here I am inside the database, and if I ping, api.apexofficeprint.com I will be able to ping it right and we can also get a response back so if I use curl command and I go to api.apexofficeprint.com slash Marco I will get a polo string back now in order to get this string from our Oracle database we can also um, execute the same command but this time we're going to execute it through Oracle Apex. For this I'm just going to copy the code here. So what I have here is a club L response and I'm using make rest request in order to get that club and display it out. When I execute it for the first time I should normally get an error. This is because Oracle database blocks every outgoing request, request to any RESTful service. So we first need to, as specified by this error message, configure access control list, and then only we will be able to perform this GET request. So that will be our next step. I am connected to this uh, database at sys and sysdba and I can query all the access control list and as you can see I have no entries here now I am going to execute this code that adds the this given host api.apexofficeprint.com with the principal name of apex230100 I am using apex23.1 so this is the principal name for apex uh, 23.1. So if you are using a different Apex environment, please go ahead and refer to the documentation as to what code needs to be executed. We have also mentioned the linked the documentation on the blog post that is linked in this description of the video. Okay, so I'm going to add this access control list and I'm going to execute the same command again. In this case, I get a poly string back. So this means the connection from our Oracle database is happening correctly. 
Once the access control list has been successfully configured, let's go ahead and install Apex Office Print. To do this, uh, there are two different components of Apex Office Print. The first component is this database package, and the second component is the plugin itself. So first, let's go ahead and install the database package. For this, I'm going to go to SQL Workshop, SQL Scripts, and I'm going to upload the AOP underscore DB underscore PKZ dot SQL file that is inside the DB folder of Apex version 23.x. I'm going to upload it here. Once uploaded, I'm going to run this. And as you can see, everything got executed successfully. This means that our database packages have been successfully installed. And as can this can be seen on our packages section through object browser. Once that is done, we can go ahead and install the plugin itself. As I mentioned, we want to export this report to Word uh, to a Word document uh, when we click this export button. Let's go ahead and see what this is doing. So currently there are no dynamic actions involved. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to go to plugin section and I'm going to import the Apex Office Print plugin. This time I'm not going to go into DB folder but I'm going to go to plugin folder. And in this plugin folder we have different plugins but for this tutorial I'm going to import the AOP underscore DA plugin. This is the dynamic action plugin. And I'm going to install the plugin. So the plugin has been installed. Uh, for the moment, I'm going to use HTTP connection. And later on, we will see how we can use HTTPS with the wallet configuration. Uh, the API key must be filled in because we're actually connecting to our API. So go ahead to your dash dashboard and get your API key. AOP mode. Uh, so production means that you'll be using credits and development means you will not be using credits. However, there will be a trial watermark at the top of each document generated. So I'm going to go to development mode, apply changes, and now we should be good to go. So these installation steps are only necessary once per application. So the package installation is per workspace level and the plugin installation is per application level. Let's go back to the page 18 and create a dynamic action on this export button. When we go to the true action, we will see a new option pop up here. Do you see Apex Office Print dynamic action plugin? Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm going to use a template type of AOP report and data type of reason. I'm going to grab the static ID of this reason contacts and I'm going to place it in on here. We scroll a bit below on the affected items. We do not need any items. So I'm just going to move to select and save. Okay, let's give this a go. So let's export it. And as you can see, what I received is the report itself. And because we're using development credits, there will be a trial watermark. Okay, this is now working correctly, but the communication between our database server and our API is not secure because we are using HTTPS, um, HTTP instead of HTTPS. So in order to use HTTPS, let's go ahead and execute the same Marco get Marco command, but this time with HTTPS. And let's see what this gives. Again, we get an error. We get an error saying that certificate validation failure. This means that the certificate that is being used by our API, which can be seen from going or clicking onto this log button, 
connection is secure, certificate is valid, and we can see different certificates over here. And we can also export this certificate from here. However, we have also provided this certificate in the downloads. So you can use this certificate. But for this tutorial, I do have an OpenSSS, OpenSSL command that will get all the certificates of a specific website. So let's go ahead and get those certificates. So in this case, I'm going to create a directory where I will store certificates and wallets. Okay, I'm going to get the certificates here and I'm going to rename the certificates. So if I go ahead and do ls over here, we will see different certificates and I'm going to rename them as their C name. In this case, as you can see, we got the root certificate and we got other certificates as well. But this is the root certificate that we need to load into our Oracle wallet. So for this tutorial, uh, our Apex instance does not have any wallet configured. If I go sign out and log into our internal workspace, man is instance, instance settings, wallet. And if I go and have a look at it, we do not have any wallet specified. So I am going to create a new wallet and then add the root certificate of Amazon into that wallet so that we can securely connect to our API. Okay, so I'm going to use the Aura PKI command in order to generate the wallet. Let's go back to our server and I'm going to create a new wallet here. There we go. And I'm going to add the root certificate here. Okay, we have successfully added the certificate into the Oracle wallet and I am going to verify this. Using the verify commands. And here we see Amazon root certificate into the trusted certificate. Okay, once that is done, we're going to give this location as the Oracle wallet on our instance setting. There we go, apply changes and we can log out of here, log into our workspace. And re-execute the command. If everything went well, we should indeed get a Polish string back, but this time not with HTTP protocol, but with HTTPS protocol. In order to make sure that this is working, I'm going to go again to our application, shared components, component settings, and I'm going to change this URL from HTTP to HTTPS. Apply changes and go back to our base where the export button is and hit export again. And as you can see, we got the report again. Okay, so this was it for this tutorial. Um, 
everything or every code that I used on this uh, tutorial will be given to you um, and you can modify that code according to your need. Just let us know if you have any other questions and we'll be glad to help you out on installation of Apex Office Print.